Good, so welcome on our new uh, content. It's Thank called uh, Summary Nyawa Insight. So the okay. purpose is to make a good communication between the team and supporter also. So in this session, we will have uh, several questions that I compile on social media. So several questions may be a uh, little bit tricky, <laughs> but you can answer it honestly. And uh, this is the a chance to give a good explanation to our supporter. Okay. So the first question coming from uh, EM1923. Uh, he said that playing with three defenders seems so risky. Please give a chance to another player because all the debutants are playing well so far. How you respond it? Uh, first, I need to understand the, the question because, uh, yes, we are playing with three, but the key point is to understand that we are not just playing with three defenders because we have 11 players in the pitch and, and uh, one goalkeeper plus 10 players in the pitch. And then uh, we are not really playing with three defenders because my strikers need to press high. They are the first defenders and then I'm not watching three defenders. If I start to see my strikers pressing well and my, my midfielders pressing well, we are not talking about the three uh, defenders. This is just the, the, the formation, this, this is just the, sh the shape in yeah. the pitch. It's not exactly about the, how we function, how we, uh, how we go to, to defend. It's not, uh, I'm asking all the players to defend, not just three players. <laughs> this is it's a, a bit confusing. I need to, to go step by step because if you see the process of Faki, I debuted Faki last season. And last season, uh, Faki just played uh, less than 45 minutes. This season, he started playing a few minutes, and after that, I give him the opportunity to, to be in the starting lineup. I have to go and I must to go step by step. Not just one match or not just one action is telling you that they are doing well. Because there is a lot of situations that we cannot analyze because the football is, is so fast. But if you see, for example, a Faki, Faki now is, is, is in the starting 11. If we remember him, uh, he, he scored a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then everyone is forgetting that because now he is doing well. But but we must to go step by step. Anyone knows that mentally for him was hard. Who need to support these uh, emotions that the player is feeling because the things didn't go goes well. The people are forgetting maybe that uh, we are uh, uh, debuting a lot of players. You talk about uh, uh, Daniel Dickey. Yeah. Daniel Dickey just played uh, one time in last uh, season. Uh, we debuted uh, Arkan, the youngest player in the league. We debuted uh, um, Rifki. Rifki, and, and, and he's going step by step. And I'm getting uh, the opportunity for the players in the correct moment because I need to consolidate them step by step. For sure, I'm going to give the opportunities to the players. And for sure, I like to, to play with young players. I, I am the one that debuted the youngest player in the league. <laughs> and looks like everyone is forgetting that. And it's not just debuting him because I have been putting him in, 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 in a lot of matches, uh, like Borneo did with the young uh, player that they debuted. This guy is not anymore in the, in the squad. Mm. And Arkan is one of the, the, the consistent players in our squad. So the second question coming from uh, Fandi Arifanto, 14. Uh, what's your target for this season uh, based on tactical perspective, formation, player lineup and training material? It's a very good question. That is an amazing question because it's a question of football. Uh, it's not about my objective. This must be very clear. First of all, I work for this club. I work for, uh, for uh, people that are investing their money. And I'm working to consolidate a project. Because if we cannot consolidate this project, a lot of people are going to lose the job. 
Then, uh, the objective is to be in the first, uh, in the first seven in the standings. To do that with a, with a healthy budget, because this is very important, with a healthy budget, we are not spending too much money uh, bringing uh, uh, players with a lot or big names. We must to develop our own players. That's why uh, we are working hard with Canu, we are working hard with Altaf, we are working hard with, hard with uh, Faki, with Rifki, with Arkan, uh, Johari, that is still young player. We must to consolidate. And then the, object, the objective of the club is to be in the first uh, seven this year. Mm. This is the first objective. After that, I need to create, I need to develop a, a program, I need to develop a project uh, with a game model. The principal asset of our game model is to be fighters like in this society. The society of uh, Solo is a fighter, so they are fighting. They fight every day for, for uh, better jobs, they, they fight to be better in the job in the, in the, in the society. And we are uh, uh, trying to do that. After that, the, result is, the results are not coming, okay, it's just a process because we are going to achieve it. But the game model is designed in the same characteristics of the society. We must to be brave in attack and we must to bra be brave in defense. That, why, that is why we defend very, very high. We are defending high because we must to be aggressive in attack and in defense. And I need to arrive to the balance, Sc uh, score more than the, the goals that we concede. But I just can do it if I uh, keep going forward to press and to attack. Because we are playing, normally are playing in the opponent pitch. This is the brainness that, that our team need to show because the, the, the society is like this, it's brave. Okay. And then, after that, the result is going to come. Uh, written by Hilal Pramudia. Persis uh, has a has better result in the last few games, but that's okay. Let's see can support this team together and please give a revelation uh, for your big line. Uh, remember what's written in our anthem. Selalu bersama apapun yang terjadi. Always together, no matter what. So we are always behind you. Do you have any response to uh, support me? Um, <laughs> this is amazing. I, I want to know this guy. <laughs> I really want to know this guy because, because he's telling something very, very important. Very important. We must to be together in the good and in the bad moments. We cannot do it alone. Mm -hmm. If we are going to, to the pitch, and we feel our own supporters against us, it's very complicated because we are playing against the opponent and against our, our own people. And also coming from Thomas Gali 5, uh, he said that if I can suggest something, maybe we can have a forum between management, coach, player and also fans. Uh, we can do it in Lesean. And we talk as a family, solve the problem together. So uh, we are going to have a two-way communication between the club and supporter. Uh, what's your response on that idea? That, that is an amazing idea because I, I really want to respect the, the background of the, of the country first mm. and, the, and, and the background of the city. Mm. I really, really respect that. Yeah. And that is a very good idea. Maybe I'm, I can emulate that in the dressing room. <laughs> Maybe someday in the, in the training I'm going to sit with the, with the players like this. It's a very good idea, very good idea. Action again. <laughs> <laughs> There is also a, a funny commentary from our supporter also, from Ross Green. He said, uh, you guys play really well last week, but actually, Arema's goalkeeper playing much better yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, I told that in the press call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to congratulate the goalkeeper of the opponent because he was the best player in the pitch. Mm. Because we arrived to the to the box uh, around 15 times and mm. he saved uh, minimum seven times uh, with a very good. Uh, Reaction. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Is a good. Also from Carl Rufikar, he said that 
we had a good formation against Ale- Arema last week but we can do better to organize the game uh, for him Persis didn't have a lot of options uh, a lot of option so the problem is always about squad depth quality uh, and he said just uh, perhaps you can put Messi as a second striker or attacking midfielder while we play with a double pivot how you respond it <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only way that I can re- uh, reply to that is uh, I learned one, one thing. The, the head coach, the Mexican head coach that uh, was the, the, um, the winner of the football in Olympic Games in England in 2012. Uh, is a friend of mine and, and he told me one thing. He told me like this, Leo, you must to put the players where the players play. This is the correct way because you are not improvising. Messi is a midfielder. Then Messi need to play as a midfielder. Simple as that. Mm. I'm not changing him. Sutanto is playing as a center back or as a center midfielder, but he is a defending player, center back or center midfielder. He have been uh, playing in that position yeah. uh, bef- uh, before I arrived here. Mm. I'm not improvising anything, <laughs> and then I'm working in that in the in the trainings. It's not a bad idea when the matches are uh, when when the matches uh, broke. This is just when the matches are very good. This is not when the matches are in the the the, the, the tough uh, moments. No? But the key point is to put the players in the, the place that they they know and they develop better. And then another question coming from Ifal. Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, please evaluate our backline. We never had a clean set in the last five games, which is a big homework uh, for us. And please reduce unnecessary falls. Like we did against Arema, and he said, "Keep fighting, Samriava." Yes, I like that comment. He's right. We must to reduce the the, the fouls that we commit. Mm. He's right, <laughs> and that is one of the things that I always shouting in the pitch: no foul, no foul, no foul. He's right. I I want to accept that comment <laughs> with yes, because he's he's right and and uh, it going to bring me to to the the the, the um, situation that I was uh, sharing in some moment. Okay. Uh, another question coming from uh, Dewatare. For him, three for three didn't work well since uh, our friendly match season. And he, uh, he think that uh, if we play with four three three, it could be better because it's a formation that familiar since we, last season. Uh, he said that I believe Leo is a very good coach, but please don't gamble with a fa- unfamiliar game model and force it because it's too risky. How is it? Uh, he's uh, uh, first of all, uh, I think, uh, I thank you. Uh, I want to thank him the the comment. B- And I want to tell him I'm not improvising because since the last season, when I start to work with the with the team, I have been playing with three in the back. Mm. I'm not improvising. If if we remember when we did the comeback uh, versus runs, mm. we were playing with three in the back. And if 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 we go to to review uh, our uh, matches, we were playing with three in the back since last uh, season. It was Canu uh, in some moments, uh, and Jamie and Rian or Sutanto, Jamie and Rian, and but we were playing with three. The difference was that in that moment we were playing with uh, Gavin Kwan, for example. Mm. Gavin is not now in the pitch. But Gavin, Gavin is is one of the smartest uh, players that I have been. Uh, Even in career, for sure, yeah. for sure in my career. Yeah. You already uh, train a lot of incredible players. And we a have lot players. in Mexico and Malaysia and here, and he's the the one of the smartest guy that I have been 
uh, coaching because he understands very well our movements uh, to react from attack to defense. Now he's not in the pitch. I'm not talking about the rest of the players mm. cannot do it, but sometimes I need to get more time. Sometimes people is thinking or feeling that we are receiving a lot of goals because we are playing with three in the back. Mm. But if we see our stats, we have been conceding 11 goals. Seven of that goals was set piece, two penalties, and five corner kicks. Another one was uh, shoot on goal of out of the out of the box versus Madura, Francisco Rivera, the Mexican that in the, f the first uh, goal that he dribbled out of the box and, and, and kick. We were defending in the box. Then eight of that eleven was in 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 situations different of the counter attack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I cannot understand when the people is telling me, "Nah, you are risking too much because you are playing with three in the back." But we are not receiving the goals because we are we are playing with three in the back. We must to work hard in set piece. We must to work hard in in the situations that we are conceding. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, another question coming from Anindito. Uh, in the last game, after the half break, we have a lot of chance from Ronnie and Israel Musita. But you choose to substitute uh, them and then keep Fernando uh, in for uh, the rest of the game. Uh, we know he already scored four goals, but against Arema, uh, he seems to have a deadlock. Can you explain uh, why? Why I take out Ronnie and yeah, Musa? Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is a, a, another good question. I really like when I uh, heard uh, when I have questions like that because people don't know what we are living inside. And then uh, I was watching uh, Musa and Ronnie uh, developing, uh, going down. His, his, uh, their performance uh, were going down. And we were needing players with intensity and with um, speed. That's why we th uh, thought in Altaf, because we were thinking, okay, we are going to dribble uh, by the sides and we are going to arrive to the box and cross. If I'm going to work with speed in the side and I'm going to cross, for sure I need the strikers. Mm. Sananta was in the pitch, Fernando was in the pitch, and I was putting in the strikers. Johari was in the in the left. I was facing a team dropping uh, too much, yeah. and then when when you are facing teams that are dropping too much, you must to are to to attack by the sides. Mm. Who can do it better in the side? Uh, Altaf and Johari with the speed, or Musa and Ronnie that uh, that they are very good players when you need to associate them in a short spaces. That we need to understand the characteristics of the players and we yeah. need to understand the situation of the of the match. It's not just about how they uh, were getting the chances. Because uh, if we if we see if we analyze uh, again that match versus Arema I, I, we were uh, playing with four strikers practically mm. because two in the side, Johari and Altaf and Fernando and Sananta. And why I'm going to take out a striker if I'm not winning? Mm. I need to win. Who's who need to be in the pitch? The strikers, the attacking players. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And now, who is my best scorer in this season? Fernando. I'm going to take out my best scorer mm. when we, when when I'm not winning. We, we must analyze a bit. <laughs> the best scorer, you are going to take out your best scorer when you need to win. It's a bit confusing and a bit mm. stupid. That's the way that I see. I need I need to score. Who is the one that has the most goals in the team? Fernando, and Fernando need to play. Four goals in five games. Four goals in five games. And if we see the stats, 
Fernando is one of the, the players that get the ball back more times mm. in the matches because of the pressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He worked really hard on that. For sure. We are uh, in the stats and we are analyzing all the situations. It's not just about, ah, my golden boy is here. I was, uh, I was reading a lot of gold. My golden boy is my golden boy, Fernando. But, okay, it's good. My golden, my golden boy is scoring a lot. He's the scorer of the team. Four goals in five matches. Okay, and I need to win. It's, it's going to be crazy if I take out my, my golden boy scorer. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I need goals, so uh, it's gonna be our last question. It's coming from uh, Abu Zain. Uh, you guys are already playing well, but the God of Fortune is not our side yet. So we have uh, unexpected goal rates, more than two in every game, mm -hmm. and our backline is already improving because we are not conceding a goal from open play from Gustavo. You know, Gustavo already mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. top scorer He's in top our leg right now. So. Uh, he said that I'm still with you guys, uh, just like old saying. Uh, how you responded? Uh, because he said that we already playing good and then our big line is already improving and then uh -huh. we are not considering goal for open play from uh, Gustavo. How you responded? We improved in our defense because we didn't concede to Gustavo the best scorer. Is yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, I don't have a, a comment about that because uh, if we don't permit Gustavo, the best scorer, to score. And we permit to another player that yeah, are yeah. not the scorer. It's, it's, it's a bit <laughs> yeah, strange, yeah. no? It's, 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 a, it's a bit rare. Uh, I want to thank this comment because uh, he's still supporting and he's yeah, yeah, understanding. Yeah. And he's smart because he's watching about the expectation of goals. Yeah. That is very interesting. I, I will be or will be um, worried if we didn't have this uh, expectation of goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means we are creating goals. We are creating, sorry, we are creating opportunities to, uh, uh, to score. If we don't create that op yeah. opportunities, maybe I must be worried <laughs> because we are not going to win if we are not arriving to the box. Yeah. To the opponent box. Uh, finally, I, I would like to extend a bit because it's not about to defend with three or four. It's about how we move and how we shape when we attack and when we defend. This is the most important thing that I, I want to share with the with the people. Mm? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for seeing this video. Persi solo. Sack your sake.